since I've never tried non-kosher chicken before, I can't tell you if non-kosher chicken and kosher chicken taste the same. I've heard before that non-kosher chicken is less salty than kosher chicken, and I'll explain why. When kosher meat and chicken are slaughtered, they use a very specific slaughtering process, and then they also go through a process of salting the protein in order to draw out the blood because blood isn't kosher. The salt is washed off, but I'm told that because of this process, it can be a little bit saltier. I still do salt my chicken before I cook it though. Does meat need to be kosher? The answer is yes. It needs to have split hooves and chew its cud in order for us to eat it. That's according to the Torah. And then in terms of birds, things are a little bit less less specific, but we don't eat predatory birds. So we eat things like chicken and turkey. We can have pheasant and duck and goose. And again, with meat, just like chicken, it might be saltier when it's kosher because of this salting process. And yes, we can have rare meat. We can have raw meat as well. But that's because when you think you're seeing blood in the meat, it's actually myoglobin, which is a protein. Although I wouldn't eat rare raw chicken, of course. And to the last question, can someone who's not Orthodox eat kosher food? Anyone can eat kosher food. In fact, you might find that in your pantry right now, you have tons of kosher items. You don't have to be Jewish to eat at a kosher restaurant. But really, kosher isn't just for Orthodox Jews. There are a lot of people who are not Orthodox. They might be part of a different sect of Judaism, but kosher is still important to them.